What's up guys? Um, thank you for watching another video. Um, I'm not really sure why, but it means a lot and it's nice to see people are sort of asking for stuff as well, which is quite nice. The, uh, the engagement means a lot. Um, I've learned from watching the legend that is Jimmy Broadbent um, to ask people to like, comment, subscribe, do all that within the first minute because most of you are going to switch off anyway. So at least if you do that, it's done. Um, I am going to answer a few questions that I got on my Instagram Q&A and then a little bit of news, a little bit of an announcement. So we'll get into it. Uh, the first one is how many Stormont clients do you have? It must be at least five. Um, I think at the moment six Stoltmans, Stoltmans is, Stoltman I. Um, so all of them have different goals. They're all trying to do different stuff. Obviously, Tom, Luke and Harry are working towards Strongman, um, World's Strongest Man, Giants Live, stuff like that. Um, and the others are working on whatever they want, you know, working on themselves, working on their own goals. And it's really cool to be a part of that. And so it'll be helping people, not necessarily in Strongman, just helping them feel better about themselves, which is awesome. Uh, the next question is nicely linked to that. And that is, do you think Harry will be a good Strongman? Um, yeah, Harry works really hard. He's really focused on what he's doing. He trains hard. His recovery is on point. His diet's on point. He's working with Nathan. Um, and Harry will be really good. I think the biggest limiting factor is going to be how people deal with Harry. Um, you know, people are expecting him to get to World's Strongest Man next year, this year, stuff like that. And that's just not possible. And I don't think he'd want to either. I don't want to speak for him. Um, but I think he's aware that He's a novice strongman, you know, he's not competed. And if any other novice turned around and said they're going to get to World's Strongest Man next year, you'd think they're crazy. Um, but Harry, hopefully, is going to compete. He should do really well. He's got a ridiculously good support network around him. Um, so Harry will be really good. Um, but I think people need to take the pressure off a little bit and just let him be a strongman and enjoy the journey rather than piling loads of pressure on just because of his surname um but yeah he's a pleasure to coach it's really good fun working with him and he just gets everything done which is really nice to see um another question is are strong men finally moving from huge body weights uh to move big weights i think generally they are the smart strong men are leaner they're more athletic they're still really strong um you know, you look at Tom pulling for 15 at Rogue last year, end of the season, but his fitness is through the roof, his pressing's through the roof, Luke's the same, his conditioning's unbelievable at the moment. They're really healthy guys, um, and I think that's the key. I don't think, you know, people focus too much on body weight and, you know, being the heaviest guy at a show and all of that sort of stuff, but if you're focusing on that, you're probably not focusing on your conditioning and... You might be really good at one event, but then as the competition goes on, your recovery is down, your conditioning's down for rep work. World's Strongest Man especially is generally somewhere really hot, so if you're just carrying loads of fat for the sake of it, you're not going to perform that well. Um, I think that comes with you know, people like Alexi and Kielikowski and Pavlo Kordiaka and guys like that who are really strong but they're light and they're lean you look at tom coming into worlds last year he was heavy he was really big but he was still lean and he was in really good condition brian shaw's looking in great shape working with nathan again and i think that's sort of the shift it's gone away from being trying to look a bit like a freak show and it's now becoming a sport people tended to complain that it's just heavy crossfit but the people who complained also will never compete at that level so it's pretty easy to see that good athletes are going to perform well you know half of being a strength athlete is being an athlete and if you can't do that you can't recover you can't perform then you're never going to do well at big shows um 
I think it's just really key to understand that, you know, there's a health aspect that comes with strongman. It's an absolutely brutal sport um, in terms of what you put your body through. You know, the conditioning work, uh, you know, you're going from pushing a train at World's Strongest Man to repping out on something or moving through medleys quickly. So just being heavy isn't the way to do it anymore or being heavy for the sake of being heavy and just being fat isn't going to help out. Um, but, you know, a lot of lads have sort of taken that on board and the ones who have are performing better and it's really easy to see that sort of direct correlation. Um, and then the last one is when you started this, uh, did you expect to be where you are now, uh, coaching the Stoltmans and stuff like that? Sort of, yes. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that if you want to be the best in the world at something, you have to act like that. You have to treat, you know, every day like that. And I knew on some level that, you know, I wanted to bring something different to Strongman, um, which for a lot of people is seen as a positive. For a lot of other people, it's seen as a negative, And I don't really care. Um, but I knew that, there's something you know everyone has a calling everyone has something that they're going to be good at uh, and hopefully they're going to be better than everyone else at um i spent a lot of time sort of swapping between stuff swapping between jobs uh doing different hobbies stuff like that to try and find what it was and then i found coaching and that seemed to just click uh the same with rock climbing you know i just find it from a mental point of view the thing i should be doing i'm under no illusion that I'm not going to be the greatest in the world at it, but for me, it's what I want to do. It's what I enjoy. Uh, and same with motor racing. I feel like on some level I could be good and it would be stupid for me to waste more and more time not doing it when realistically it's a bit of a financial cost, but it's what I want to do. And if I'm really good at it, then it's worth it. But in terms of coaching... I didn't know I'd coach the Stoltmans, obviously, um, but I sort of knew I'd coach someone who wins World's Strongest Man, and I think I'm going to keep doing that. Um, I think we've got a lot more titles to come uh, for the people I coach, more World's Strongest Man finals and stuff like that. So it sounds really arrogant and people think it's cocky, but I just know there's something going on that I seem to be quite good at it, and my clients get the results. So sort of yes but you know i wasn't sure it'd be the stoltmans but i knew i'd coach the winner of world's strongest man one day and you know i kept telling myself that um i'm reading tyson fury's book at the moment or one of his books and he's you know talking about he every day knew he would be you know heavyweight champion of the world he knew he would make his comeback after mental health issues he told himself every day he lived that every day and then it comes true. And I think that's the thing. If you're willing to put the work in, have that positive mental attitude and that determination, then there's no reason you can't achieve what goals you set out. Um, but yeah, that's sort of standard preachy Instagram bullshit, but it's annoyingly true and it seems to work out pretty well. Um that's it for questions. I've answered quite a lot of them on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to do Q and A's sort of every week, um, and maybe do some live stuff whilst we're out at the Arnold. Because me and Dale from 3D Strength are going to be sharing a house, so you're probably going to have to watch us watch Strongman talk about Strongman, something like that. So that should be a good laugh. Um, in terms of news today, I am. Um, Hopefully, if the storm decides to turn up or not, I will be going to Croft, which is a motor racing circuit uh, about an hour and a half away. Um, at the moment, there is the JSCC Scholarship Weekend going on, uh, which is where junior drivers, I think 14 to 17, uh, are going to become racing drivers, and they'll be racing in Citroen Saxos, and it's amazing to see. The reason I'm going up is uh, there's a team called Green Hill Performance and I've decided to sort of partner with them a little bit and offer some coaching, strength training and conditioning work to whatever junior driver they take on. Um, you know, a lot of emphasis is put on this sort of strength and conditioning in motorsport, 
later on in people's career whereas i think it's quite good to get in to the habit of training young uh not necessarily going heavy not doing anything stupid but just trying to make them better drivers make them more resilient if anything goes wrong as well uh so that's something i'm really excited about really looking forward to going to croft as well because my first race in the peugeot 206 um will be at croft i think it's april the 9th and 10th uh so i will be racing with greenhill performance as well which is amazing they've done a stunning job of you know getting the car prepped and then my black peugeot is going under cover for a little while and then that's going to get built up for next year providing i enjoy this year's racing uh, and just try and get you know some stupid horsepower out of it and send it sideways around everything um but super super grateful to the guys at greenhill performance um you know turned up at donnington about a month ago uh, for a testing day the car was perfect is in really nice shape and then ben and harry uh, the two sons of mick who sort of runs the team were taking me around the track explaining you know breaking points some of the differences between racing the track in the sim on i racing and stuff like that racing the track in real life starting to understand grip starting to understand what happens when you run out of grip or you run out of talent or you run out of track and just sort of really understanding what's going on so i'll be racing with the 750 mc uh tin tops so hatchbacks all very similar power to weight ratio in the class so it should be fun hopefully if it's not fun then i've spunked a load of money away and i'll sell some cars and go rock climbing again so there's no no harm in it um and then obviously traveling to the arnold um in like 10 days 11 days something like that after britain's strongest man which is in sheffield this morning i think they've 95 percent sold out um so this ticket's still available on the giant side website but really exciting things coming up and then luckily the 750 mc calendar lines up really well with the strongman calendar so i shouldn't be missing any shows to race the only thing i am missing is the women's qualifiers um because for years they've been the same weekend as europe's strongest man so i didn't bother checking the dates i just thought oh it's the week after europe so it'll be the week after qualifiers perfect timing but things have swapped around and unfortunately i've got to miss the qualifiers um but i'll be racing so that should be really good fun and it means shiv won't be there which i think for both of us is probably a good thing because it's quite a larry larry sport first lap out first corner at croft i think gets pretty narrow so there's chances things might go a little bit tits hopefully not um hopefully i either qualify at the front of the grid or right at the back of the grid and one of those is more likely than the other so can hopefully stay out of trouble um the dan hipkiss racing instagram page as of sort of today and tomorrow uh, there'll be more and more coming with that looking at filming the sort of the process of getting the car ready getting it stickered up um putting more content out on there and then uh keeping my sort of main instagram for strongman and sort of just dicking around with my mates what social media should be for um but yeah that's it uh if anyone for whatever fucking reason wants to sponsor some racing because it's just upsettingly expensive um drop me a message i have no idea how much anything costs how much sponsorship works any of that but i've got one car that i'm going to race and one car i'm going to build up so any help would be awesome um but i know literally nothing about it so just give me money for i think throttle bodies and camshafts and stuff like that to get hopefully 220 horsepower out of a little peugeot and try and cling on and survive um but yeah thank you for watching sorry for rambling a little bit um like comment subscribe do all of that i still sort of want a tesla but the new electric rallycross cars have come out and they are stupid um so they're way more expensive so like comment subscribe share do all of that good stuff 
And thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And have a great weekend.